episode of the Havelina Coaches Show on the Mendoza's Pharmacy Havelina Sports Network, our second episode of 2022. We appreciate you tuning in. And our first guest on this episode is our head men's basketball coach, Johnny Estelle. Coach Estelle, thank you so much for carving out some time again for us. Anytime, sir. It's another game week for you guys. What is the, you guys have AM International, they're, they're actually the first conference game on the schedule. Uh, on the docket for you guys this week. What is the, the mood of your team like right now? Well, they're just excited about the opportunity to play. To be honest with you, it's be our first game of 2022. Um, I know our fans and our players, parents, and everybody are eager to see us play. I mean, I'm eager, the staff is eager to watch us play. So, um, you know, we're, we're just excited to have the opportunity to play. But, you know, we went through a series of, um, you know, concerns through the COVID situation, but if we're going to uh, err on the side of any, we're going to use precaution, always precaution and health, and, and our kids are getting healthy and uh, look like they're uh, ready and eager to play. This is just, I don't mean to minimize this, but this is just one more challenge for your team and for your program. How confident are you that your team will respond the right way? Oh, those guys, they, 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 have, they, they have the character and the heart and the work ethic and commitment. I think they'll be fine. I think, you know, quite naturally we won't be as sharp as we were, you know, when you saw us in San Antonio. But I think they have uh, really worked collectively to stay locked in, stay focused. Um, you know, they have a great support group amongst themselves. You know, even the ones that have been in quarantine, the way that they've approached this and stayed connected with the ones that have been practicing and so on. And then to watch them all come together, uh, we had a few come out of quarantine. It was almost like, you know, a family reunion, so to speak, you know, to see them finally, you know, be able to see their brothers and, uh, you know, they communicated through via text or phone call, but you actually see them. Um, it really was very uh, heartwarming on Saturday. When you have a situation like this mid-season where you have such a long break between games, do you approach a week of practice like this week any differently? Well, I mean, in, in my prior stints as a uh, junior college coach, you know, we used to have two and a half weeks off, you know, depending upon the schedule. So I've been through this before, and a lot of these kids that have played in junior college have as well. Uh, but yeah, you do, you kind of, you don't start all the way over. You start with the basics. You start with, you know, maybe some fine tuning, some things that you particularly didn't have a chance to do earlier uh, because of the schedule. Um, you you kind of, you know, we, we have to get some guys in shape pretty quickly. So you're, the way you play in practice is a little different. You know, like for instance, if we were starting, if we had been playing games, our practices would be a little different. But we're working on conditioning. We're working on, you know, developing a game plan against, you know, man, we have a pretty uh, rigorous schedule coming up. Uh, international, I mean, Coach McConnell has done a phenomenal job and his staff. They have a very good team. I mean, I think they have a lot of quality wins. Uh, should be a ranked team, in my opinion. You know, and Fort Smith has beaten uh, West Texas. Uh, very close to beating, you know, Lovett Christian at home. Um, they have some really good quality wins, and Coach Boone does a good job. And you got Oklahoma Christian, who I think it has a really good team. And so, you know, there is no bad team. So we have to prepare ourselves for the gauntlet. I call it the NBA schedule. All these guys want to be in the NBA. Well, here it is. You're about to have one. Four games in about, I think, seven, eight, six, eight, eight, eight nine days. So we're going to see what we made out of. Yeah, and this conference is hard to find an easy game on the, the LSC schedule. And you mentioned international. This was an international team that the previous two years, they won four games in two seasons. Now all of a sudden, they have, they have been playing like one of the best teams in this conference under, you mentioned Coach McConnell in his mm -hmm. second season. What is the biggest difference between this international team this year compared to the last few years? Well, I think when you take over any program, you know, uh, I've been there taking over this program, and, you know, you're rebuilding a program. If you do it the right way, it takes time. You know, I think there's all kind of ways of doing it. I've known Coach McConnell for a long time. You know, he's a veteran at this. He's been, a, well, he's worked with some of the best coaches. Uh, he was a very successful junior college coach. So I know he knows what he's doing. He's got good staff. He's got really good players. Uh, they play a brand of basketball that's very similar to what we do. Uh, they play hard, they play team, they have interchangeable parts, they have a good low post game. So, you know, he's done a great job putting a collection of guys together that not only are talented, but they chemistry are really good. And that's why they win. They play extremely hard, they defend you, they rebound, they're tough. And, you know, with that being said, you know, that's a tribute to him and, and him going out finding the right fit for international and for him putting together a, a system that, you know, kids love, enjoy playing in, like we have. What's going to be the biggest challenge for you preparing this team, not just for these games against international, but for, you mentioned, the, the busy schedule that you guys have coming up? Um, you know, 
you know, it, you can look at it all kind of ways. You know, I think you can look at it all kind of ways. We, we have tried to departmentalize what we're doing um, and try to just take care of today. So it's like to minute, we're about to work out here in a minute. So um, haven't heard any negative things. So we're going to try to focus on getting better today and 1% better. You've heard me say that numerous times to our team. Control what you can control, things like that. So we're, we're just, these things are making us stronger. They're, they're, they're allowing us to uh, grow and get to know more about who we are. You know, when you go through adversity, I think you really uh, get a feel for who people are all the way around you and uh, the support that uh, we have have and the people that have shown interest in our program uh, hadn't fell off since we haven't been able to play. So, I mean, I'll let you know you're doing things right and you're in the right place. Well, Coach, best of luck this week. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, thank you, sir. Member of the Havilland men's basketball team, if you want to catch them at home for the first time this year, they will be at home on Saturday against AM International. And don't forget also next Thursday against Arkansas Forsmith. That is Pack the House Night. So come out and support. We want to fill up the spec on Thursday, on next Thursday against Arkansas Forsmith. We'll take a break and come back. This is the Havilland Coaches Show. Welcome back to the Havelina Coaches Show, and we're joined by our next guest, fresh off a very eventful road trip. That's head Havelina women's basketball coach Michael Madrid. Hello, coach. Hey, Mark. Thanks for having us. I'm glad you guys made it back to campus in one piece. I know it was a, uh, a difficult journey. I think you guys posted, some, posted something the other day that said you traveled, I think, 1,700 miles for the victory on Friday, but it all, make, it all seems worth it when you win, I'm sure. What did you think of the way your team played on Friday? You know, quite the road trip. Uh, you know, Silver City is obviously uh, quite a distance from Kingsville, but fortunate enough that our administration gives us the opportunity to fly at least halfway. Um, and so, you know, I, I thought it was a really tough game. You know, it's, it's one of those environments that's tough to play in, um, you know, especially after a quick turnaround trip headed up there. I thought we were a little flat offensively uh, in a lot of ways, but we were able to put some possessions together, um, kind of go on a little bit of a run here and uh, push the lead out. But just proud of our players. Everybody got some playing time. And, uh, you know, anytime you can steal one on the road, it's a good thing. You had Veda Lake play, I think, 23 minutes was a season high for her. And all she did with those 23 minutes was score a season high. I think she had 13 points. She was 6 of 6 from the field. What did you think of her performance? Well, Veda's extremely skilled. Um, you know, she's probably our most skilled inside player. Um, just trying to get her to be more consistent, maybe a little uh, tougher, I guess, if you will. But, you know, she's going she's gonna to play some big minutes for us down the stretch as the season goes on. And, and, you know, we have all the confidence in the world in Veda. And it was, it was fun for not only the coaching staff, but for the team to see her play really, really well. I know you guys still have a long way to go in this season, but you are off to a 3-0 start, which is one more thing that you can say this program hasn't done in a long time. You're a 3-0 in conference right now. How much significance do you attach to that? You know, it just, it's just a tribute to our players and the amount of work that they put in, as, as we continue to say every time that we talk. You know, they, they, they value their minutes that they have in practice. They value their minutes that they have in games. And so it's just fun to watch them continue to grow. We do have a long way to go. I think that this team's going to continue to get better. And we're just excited to see their growth. It seems like every time you go, guys go on the road, you end up stopping at the, the, fam, at the house of, a, of the family of one of your players. And you hear the men's coach, Johnny Estelle, talk about how his program is a family. And that doesn't just include the student athletes and the coaches. That includes the parents and the families of his student athletes as well. How similar do you feel like the, the culture is that you guys have established of not just being about the players and the coaches, but being about their families as well? You know, it's huge. Coach Weaver and I joked when we went to St. Mary's and St. Edwards earlier this year, we had somewhere around 40 people trying to get on the pass list and uh, which is awesome that that many people want to come watch us play and you know we joked I think year one we couldn't pay people to go watch us play on the road and so um, you know we're very much family atmosphere you know we we invite our families in to to celebrate with us and the fact that we can go places and families want to go and have meals for us and prepared for us and and just kind of spend time with each other is it's fun it speaks volumes to uh, the character of everybody that's involved in our program a busy week for you guys starts on thursday you'll be on the road at a m international then you're seeing the same team at home on saturday this is an excellent a m international team what are the challenges that are associated with playing the squad you know they have a really good inside player She's putting up a lot of numbers. They shoot the ball extremely well. Uh, they put up um, a lot of points, and so they're so long and athletic. And Nate's done a tremendous job in his three years there. And so, you know, it's it's going to be a tall task. Um, we're excited about the opportunity. A little unusual to play a non-conference game 
this late in the year. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, we're going to go down there on Thursday night and, and put our best 40 minutes out, and then we'll see where we'll go from there. We'll look at the film and adjust and see how we need to play on Saturday. Now you've mentioned before, and this is not a slight to any opponent, but you guys try and prepare each team the same, pre team the same way each week. How much of a how beneficial do you feel like it is to have a week of preparation where it's to have the, be preparing your team the same way to be focusing on the same things week in and week out? You know, it's it's interesting. You know, like today and tomorrow, honestly, we'll focus 100% on us. You know, we'll we'll do a lot of skill development. We'll get better in areas that that we feel that we're weak in. And Wednesday, we'll start looking at international a little bit and some things that we need to do for them, but. You know, again, our, our thought process is the same. Our biggest focus, honestly, is, is improving our individual players and uh, improving our team. And then as we get closer to game, we'll start prepping for uh, international. But I like the fact that we're playing them twice because we only have to do one scout. And, uh, you know, it'll be a quick turnaround uh, from Thursday to Saturday. Yeah, it almost feels like it's, it's last year all over again when you're playing the same team twice in one weekend. Exactly. It's a little strange, but I actually enjoyed last year to a certain extent. You know, just quick turnaround, let's play, same scout, here we go. Well, Coach, best of luck this week. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Go have Mark. some fun. Appreciate you. And we appreciate you tuning in to another episode of the Havlina Coaches Show. Again, you can catch the Havlina women at home on Saturday against a &M International. And next Thursday, it is Pack the House Night for Tamuk when they host Arkansas Forsmith. So come out and support. We're going to try and fill up the spec next Thursday. Thank you again for tuning in. Appreciate both our guests, Coach Madrid and Coach Estelle. I'm your host, Mark and Sarah, and we'll see you again next week on the Havlina Coaches Show.